Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Thanks for dropping in again. Um, now, just before we start this video, I just want to apologise if you hear any screaming. That's literally just because um, the neighbours will have just realised that I'm about to start drumming at ten past eight in the evening. Uh, I'm kidding, really. It's just the kids uh, running around playing outside. Um, now, what we've um, what I've got lined up for you guys today is something really, really fun. Something that I really wanted to do for a few days now, um, which is incorporating your juggling sticks into your uh, drumming while you're playing at the same time. Um, now what I'm going to teach you guys first is something very, very, very important. Um, something that I teach to all of my students um, because eventually they want to go out and uh, become performing drummers in their own bands. So as I've explained to you guys in the past, uh, when you're doing um, any, any sort of stick tricks, if you've got sticks up in the air or you're twirling or whatever it happens to be, um, there's always the risk that um, a stick could hit you in the face or um, a stick could drop on the floor or even just when you're playing around and you strike your cymbal or something like that and your stick's already a bit worn um, there's always the risk that uh, your stick could snap part way through playing so um, one thing that's very 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 important to have is um, spare drum sticks so what we're going to do is I'm going to just teach you um, the method that I always teach to my students and the same method that I usually use when I'm out uh, performing or doing workshops or whatever it happens to be, okay? Um, you never know when something's going to go wrong, so you always want to prepare against worst case scenarios. So, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see, but um, let me just show you this. So you can see my drumstick there, and you can see the top of the tip, the top of the tip, the tip of the stick is um, up at the top. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide the tip end underneath my leg there, okay? Now, it only needs to be very slightly underneath your leg, just enough so that it's not going to uh, fall away and drop onto the floor. Um, the reason why we sit on the tip end, okay, if I just demonstrate here on the, um, on the snare drum, imagine that my hand is uh, my leg. Okay, so the tip end, uh, yeah, tip. Okay, imagine that my leg's on top of the tip there. Okay, now, say like, if I've been drumming around and then suddenly I've lost a stick, um, the end that I need to be holding onto is already sticking out. So I can just literally lose the stick and just go straight for my spare, okay? Um, whereas if it was the other way around and the tip was sticking out, then I'd end up, I'm just throwing sticks all over the floor now. Um, I'd end up losing my stick and then I'd have hold of the stick at the wrong end. You can still play the drums uh, with your stick at this end if you want to do like really powerful strikes, but it's not it's not great for technical playing. Um, you can't grip the stick properly or anything like that. So I'm just going to collect all my sticks again. Bear with me. Okay. So. Um, so yeah, that's that's just a nice little uh, thing for you to be able to do when you're playing the drums. Always make sure that you got um, at least. I usually tell my students to have uh, two or three spare pairs if they're going to be using a lot of uh, tricks in their uh, playing. I tell them to have the pair that they're going to start with, and then two or three spare pairs as well, um, so that they're covered. And you've got that way you've got like two or three sticks on each side. Three, two or three for your right hand, two or three for your left hand, because you never know what stick you're going to lose. Um, okay, so the um, the tutorial that I'm going to do with you guys today, like I was saying, is uh, juggling drumsticks. So, for those of you that have already seen the tutorial for um, stick juggling, um, you guys will already be familiar with this by now. Um, if you haven't seen the tutorial yet, just go and go to the Drumming School Drumming School YouTube channel, and it will be somewhere within the first, the earliest few uh, videos. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do with you is um, I'm just going to recap anyway, just to keep your mind, uh, keep it fresh in your mind. Um, now bear in mind, like I always say, always keep your eye on the sticks. You never want to take your eyes off the sticks again, so that you don't hit yourself in the face, so it doesn't drop on the floor. It's just best to play it safe. Okay. So remember the three parts: throw, pass, catch. Okay. So I'm going to throw with my right hand, and while that sticks up in the air. I'm going to pass my left stick across and then catch with my 
empty left hand, okay? So I'll just demonstrate that. Remember, I'm going to be watching the sticks. I'm sorry if I'm not looking at you guys. So it's going to go throw, pass, catch. Throw, pass, catch. Throw, pass, catch. Throw, pass, catch. Okay? So what we're going to try and do now is uh, work that into the into your actual plane. So what I've got... Oh, there goes my uh, bass drum there. Um, what I've got going on is... Um, my bass drum down here, again you can't uh, see it, it's slightly off camera. Um, I'm going to use my snare drum and my crash cymbal. Okay, so the idea behind this is that we're going to, I'm just going to move my snare drum a little bit closer so I can move my pedal around. That's it. Um, we're going to hit the crash cymbal. Um, with a bass drum at the same time, so or kick drum, like I've said earlier in the one of the earlier videos, uh, it's either the bass drum or the kick drum, the one down here. Okay, so we're going to have a bass drum and a crash cymbal. <laughs> Quick cymbal choke in there. Um, so I'm using my left hand for that. Okay, um, and then I'm going to strike the snare drum with my right hand, just the snare drum on its own. Okay. Like that, okay, fantastic. So um, let's just run around that uh, rhythm first, just to kind of get you guys comfortable with it. So it's bass and crash, snare drum, bass and crash, snare drum, and just repeat that a few times round. Okay, awesome. So. Um, now, what a good way to kind of imagine this. I don't know if you'll uh, understand what I'm talking about here, or you'll just kind of look really, really confused at your screens. Um, have you ever seen in like um, cartoons and that sort of things? Imagine that you got like a um, like a seesaw, okay, and you got people at this end and a person at this end, and as these people jump it basically catapults the person at the other end into the air and then when somebody jumps on that end it catapults up that end like that okay um, so what we're gonna do we're gonna imagine that um, it's the same process okay um, now because we're gonna use this hand to throw that sticks gonna throw up into the air um, that's gonna happen as the left hand comes down so it's gonna kinda go Bam, like that, okay? So left hand down, right hand up, like that, okay? Um, and obviously you'll be letting go of the stick in your right hand because that's your first part of your, um, your juggle, your throw. Remember, throw, pass, catch. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my bass drum and crash, and then I'm going to um, complete the trick, okay? Remember, throw, pass, catch. Okay. Okay. Add in that bass drum. Again. One more time. Awesome. Okay. So um, all I'm going to do once I've um, once I've caught my stick, um, it needs to be timed pretty accurately, it needs to be pretty sharp. Um, as your stick comes down into your left hand, you need to strike your snare drum at that moment, okay? So just like that, okay? So catch, like that, okay? So sticks were a little bit close together there, let's try that again, okay? Try again. So you'll notice again I was always watching my sticks. Okay, I'm not hitting the symbols too loud because I'm just trying to be respectful to the neighbours. Um, otherwise they will scream. They they will, and they'll be a they'll just come and start trying to tear my house apart. Um, okay, so so yeah, and if you can, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this 
uh, tutorial in two parts, I think. Um, again, just because it's getting a little bit late, I want to be respectful to the neighbours. Um, uh, but in the next tutorial, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and um, work in both pedals. Oh, just, just for a bit of clarification, I use um, a double bass pedal. Okay. If you don't have a double bass pedal, don't panic. I'll show you a version that you can use with a single bass pedal as well. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. So that will be in the next couple of days. Um, I've got some other tutorials I want to do with you guys as well. Um, so I hope you found the tutorial uh, uh, useful for you guys. I hope, it's, uh, I hope these videos are becoming really, really helpful. Um, remember to uh, give the video a thumbs up if, if you found it useful. Uh, leave any comments, any questions, anything like that. I'd really appreciate that. I'm happy to answer your questions if you want any, um, any assistance. Um, again, I'd so much appreciate it. Oh, before before I go any further, thank you so much, guys, for um, I think we're at six, yeah, 16 subscribers now. So that was really, really, really awesome. We're going up by the day, and um, I'm, I'm just like a kid on Christmas morning every single time um, I see that subscriber count go up. So I'd really, really appreciate it if you could um, if you could keep uh, subscribing. That would be amazing. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe. The three uh, the three big ones. Um, if you're on Facebook, you're uh, more than welcome to join the Drumming School Drumming School Facebook page. There's a lot going on over there as well. That would be really, really cool. Um, so yeah, best of luck with it, guys. I hope you find it useful. I um, hope you guys are able to use these tricks as well. Uh, let me know how you get on, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.